This is Vince working on the metal lathe. He's yep. cutting stainless steel. We're going to drill a hole for the, what is it? The, the plastic the, filament. The extruder for the 3D printer. The stainless steel bar had uh, a hole punched in the center using the bit that's on the end of that machine. The center bit. Center bit. And now we are just taking the threads off and reducing the diameter up top. That will give us uh, less heat conduction as we go through the heat sink. Okay. Now I gotta change that bit out. There's a little hole in the end of that. So before drilling, you need to punch a hole. Use this bit to punch the hole. And now he's changing the cutting blade on here. And anytime there's a new blade on there, you gotta Make sure it doesn't get in the way of this because when that starts turning, if it hits the blade, it'll smash it. Then Vince has to fix it and then he'll put on his grumpy face. That's right. You don't want to see my grumpy face. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take the threads off for about a quarter of an inch. Why are you going to do that? Um, so that we have better, or actually, yeah, um, better heat blocking in the, in the cylinder, or in the heat sink cylinder. So I'm just setting things up, making sure. Yeah, i got to come up on that a bit. So make sure you got the, the bit in the center. doesn't work so good when you're low down. And you do that by changing out the shivs here. Or these spacers. Does cool. that table go up and down as well? No, it does not. So you have to adjust everything with spacers. Hmm. There are some pretty sweet lays out there that do all that, but the spacers are uh, labeled, I guess. So you know. No, no, you just kind of approximate. Yeah, it looks like it'll work. You just eyeball it. Hmm. So some things are really precise, like. The adjustment for the center punch at 10 microns mm -hmm. per, per click. Yeah. Other things, you just eyeball it. That's right. It's a lot of it's just by feel. So it looks like there's nothing built in uh, to dummy proof this machine. Like, if you put it in too close, you'll damage the machine. Right, eh? yeah, you're, uh, there's no built in safety. Nope, you're working with a machine. Um, there's no
no modern conveniences on this thing. It will be eventually. I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put uh, motor driven uh, um, slides on here. One of my near term projects. We're going down to the butt the diameter we're looking for here. Now we're going to change bits on here. We're going to go to a two millimeter bit. Is that the drill bit? Yeah. What's the big green zip thing on just um, so it doesn't get lost? Yeah, exactly. This thing has an amazing ability to get lost on the bench and it frustrates the ever loving hell out of me when it does. How deep are you going? Uh, we're going to go uh, one inch, so up to the end of the frets, for the, okay. the flutes. It's just a process of keeping steady pressure, watching the chips as they come out. They don't break, you just kind of stop for a second, let the chip break. You don't want them to get too long. These are all the chips here. How do you know when to add oil? Um, it's just kind of the sound, the feel. Uh, once you get past about halfway, you want to start making sure you clear the chips. You hear it going tick, that means you're pushing it too hard. You hear that, those ticks? Yeah. It's going to slow down. Uh, and when it starts doing that a lot, then it usually means it, 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 the flutes are plugged up and it wants more oil. This thing must get hot, I'm surprised you're touching it. No, it doesn't get hot at all. Oh. Usually when I drill metal it gets hot. Well, but if you if you manage things properly it shouldn't. Okay. I'm forcing things too much then. That's right. Creating friction rather than cutting. Yeah, you gotta let it do the work. Very good chip, so I'm gonna try changing speed here. We go faster or slower? Uh, we were at 350 know. before. Yeah, I think faster is the way to go here. Now we're at 550. There we go. Looks to me like that bit isn't totally straight. 
Um, like, uh, when you pull it back, as soon as it comes out, it, it moves a little bit. Yeah, it just has to do with the, the, the way the torque is uh, kind of... Yeah, I don't know. It, it needs it needs a bit of adjustment in the tailstock, but because we use a centering bed, it it, it kind of goes straight into the hole, so it's yeah. not that much of a concern. Getting close now. Yep. You gotta be careful too because this is where things start to go badly. You get push excited things, close yeah, to the end? Yeah. The last thing you want to do is snap a bit off. That sucks. It's not so much the cost of the bit, but then you gotta ruin the work, work piece because you can never get that piece of metal out. What kind of oil is that? Uh. Aluminum cutting fluid, but it works good on stainless too. Can I use motor oil? You can use anything that's got sulfur in it. Hmm. The sulfur acts as a high pressure lubricant of sorts. Battery's gonna die on the phone. Is there anything you want to say before I stop? Nope. That's basically it. Thanks for showing us how to drill stainless steel. Yep.